Hi guys, it's Anidius and welcome back to Hearts of Iron number four, which we're currently playing, of course, as Estonia. So let's carry on with that and let's see where we left off. All right, what did we do last time? As you can see, we basically now got the full Scandinavian, or at least if you exclude Denmark from there, full Scandinavian peninsula in our hands. Um, do we want to basically ask Germany if we can basically get, it, get those territories as well? Yeah, we can ask. Ask for control of states. Could I get that? Nope. Could I get that? No, they don't like it. Lovely. Could I get that? Nope. This? Nope. Didn't even see that being selected. Did it select anything? No, I don't know. Anyways, let's leave that be for now. So if you might remember from the last episode, we started the production of the light tank because we needed quite a substantial number of those for the purpose of our garrison. So we basically changed our garrison units types to be this garrison typed here. Um, and that one was basically composed of military police as well as uh, tanks, sorry, light tanks. I was just thinking for a second. Okay, so we basically got our spies operating here. This one, as you can see, is trying to suppress the resistance here for as much as it can. We're currently firing these ballistic missiles at Germany. We're trying to take out the infrastructure and whatever else. We've got a fair number of points at our disposal. We're basically working on the resistance suppression. And I really need to basically get some of these numbers here down to a low, low number. So I want to be able to get the compliance up to 60%. That's my goal, at least. And once I've done that, I can then basically do integrate. I want to integrate that entire territory. All right. So we can, of course, work on military factory conversions. As you can see, battle results are pretty much always positive now. We basically got lots of uh, units operating. And yes, you might remember from the last episode, we basically still got units based here. Uh, spread out along the entire coast there. We got some units here, perfect. But we've actually started engaging the Americans, etc., etc., over in Africa. We started pushing the British out here, so the German Reich's now got territory here. So that's really the, the stepping stone that we're taking to be able to yeah, push the, the, the Allies away from us as such. Of course, the, we're still at war with the United States as well. But if we look at basically what's left here, we got, of course, the United Kingdom itself, Australia. Uh, their total war participation is quite substantial. Then, of course, the United States, 17%. Yeah, okay. But they've suffered 3.39 in terms of losses, whereas the UK has only suffered, yeah, 1.8. And we are actually the second party in terms of the number of contributions there. And here we actually also are the second one. But yeah, the first is the Japanese in terms of actually getting kills on them as such. So how do I deploy a nuclear bomb? That's one thing I actually haven't quite figured out as of yet. All right, could I put a nuclear payload on here? Okay, I can create air groups, that's fine. But how do I launch a nuke? Mm, okay, it says we got one available and we're basically still are building one. That, that box is too small, isn't it? It just doesn't fit in there. I know we got one. Do we need to use our strategic bombers for that purpose? Possibly. Okay, let's see what we got here in terms of fighters. Have I got enough fighters to deploy a wing there? No, I don't. Then I got my tactical bombers. I got my strategic bombers here. Uh, as you can see, I don't have that many. And they're deployed as two separate wings. Let's cancel that and actually, let's say, uh, disband the air wing. Yes. This one should, of course, get the additional bombers deployed into there. Now, have I got an option for the nuclear bomb on here? How do you de deploy the nuclear bomb? This is actually the first time I actually got the nuclear bomb. And it does make me very, very curious as to how to deploy it. Okay, so let's speak to the British. Can we do that? 
Can we ask him to surrender? Nope. Planes lost to anti air. And of course, here we basically see how many buildings we were able to destroy. Hmm. Okay. So I know I've got the nuclear bomb, but how do I deploy it? That's always a good, good question. The long push east, anti Soviets, etc., etc. Race for the bomb. Yes, I'm producing additional. Uh, Reactors here as well, because the more reactors we got going, the quicker we can actually produce the bombs. Okay, well, we'll figure that out somehow. Cancel the land lease. Manpower. So we got four bombers and we got 320 people servicing them wow wow okay right so what have we got here we've of course still got the results coming through there let's have a quick look at that production like i said we're basically working on these bombers here we're doing 2.78 per month that is peanuts peanuts Okay, where well we're getting extra units here from our allies. We don't need as much steel at the moment as we are getting. We got a surplus of 18 is what it says. And in terms of this, we don't need as much either. We got a surplus. Well, we had a surplus, but it's too small now. There we go. Fix that issue. Let's have a quick look at our spy agency, what we can do to improve them. Uh, yeah, I got my encryption at the max. My decryption isn't at the max yet, so that's something we can work on. And as you will see, what's happening here? In terms of the channel itself, look at the actual channel in terms of the Air Force. All right, so we got here the improved air to ground radar. Our air home radar set that gives the navigator an accurate picture of the surface below the plane, allowing for precise navigation even in darkness or bad weather. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Advanced ballistic computers. Do I need that? Anti-air is improved with that. Well, why not? So at one point, you kind of reach a point where you think, well, what am I going to do next? So these guys that we got ready here. Ooh, are they actually going to move now? Yes, they are. Hold on. So these guys. I should probably say these guys. We're going to move all of them. But in reality, what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically put them all to go there. Let's put them all there by train, in reality. Let's bring them all to here, to Dunkirk. Look at that. So that's the city of Portsmouth. The hospitals have been improved. MPs are at the top level. Yes, we can relatively quickly research this here. We got a stacking penalty. Oh, okay. Level 5 versus level 3. Okay. Let's see how long that's going to take. Should we win that? Should we not win that? I would imagine we would win it. It just takes time. There we go. Oh, we got our foothold. Let's take some of these other units here. Let's go for Bristol there. These two will go for... Okay, let's see what we can do here. 
Let's uh, make them cross here as well. Hold on. Okay. I probably can take some of these units here. Did I not have tanks here? I do have tanks here. I just don't have enough tanks. Hmm. Right, so these guys, they're currently over here. With their orders. These guys have finished that invasion there. I can of course bring them back to the mainland here. Hold on, let's do that differently. Let's actually just tell them to go right there. Okay, that's a quick and easy way. Right, these guys, as you can see, they're fighting down here, but in reality, I want them not to be there. I want them to be elsewhere. I want them to be here as well. So it's a quick and dirty way to basically get them here. I probably should have prepared this more, but uh, for now, this is fine. As you can see, British units, American units. It's a good mix of different things. All right. Okay, let's keep on pushing. Uh, let's push back into Bristol there. By different means. Oh, those are more British units coming in. Okay, fine. happening in terms of supplies. As you can see, supplies are being pushed in there as well. I'm pretty sure we had marine units as well. And my marines are still busy here, as you can see. I don't know why we're keeping busy up there. Um, let's have a quick look. So these guys are coming here. Fine, they're slowly gathering there. As you can see, they're on, on transports and whatever else. That's perfectly fine. Okay. We're going to leverage as many of the trucks as we can. Yeah, I probably need more trucks here for that particular purpose as well. So let's produce a, a bunch of extra trucks. Alright, let's uh, also repair whatever infrastructure we got here. Lost a sure, a six, etc, etc. Will they cross over by themselves, or do we need to do it for them? Uh, looks like they're actually going to take a train or whatever to cross over. Okay, so these are retreating, those are retreating. It's a real mixed bag in terms of what's happening here. If I can get some of these units here really to push through here properly, I can then push back through a different angle. From a different angle, maybe I should say not through a different angle.
I kind of hope to be able to take a second port because if I got more ports in my hands, this makes it easier to invade. That's it. Okay. Let's cross these over as well. There's no one there defending it. Alright, let's try to push into here. So what's happening here? As you can see, the British are losing transports. Left, right and center. Well, that's not good. Is there a port over there? Yes. So as you can see, we can always basically go through the port of Bristol if that's needed. I'm just rather hoping it's not necessary, but yeah, we'll just need to wait and see. Let's have a quick look at what our Air Force is currently doing. reinforce them over the uh, southern part of England here. It says here they get air support and that you don't get it, but okay. that some of this was actually pushed back. Great. Okay, try to cut them off here. So let them gather all their troops here in the south and in the meantime we basically push towards Wales and so forth. Help nicely as well. Look at that. What where is this? Is this sunk by Deutschland? Okay. Have division reached a certain defensive bonus total? Oh, okay, cool. Right, let's push into there. Which is really on the outskirts of London. Okay. Push into Come there. On. Hold on, let's have a look. So these guys are on the move back here. These guys are finished now. I should really then deploy them also to here. Then we have got these guys here. I don't necessarily need all of these to be where they are at the moment. Mountain ones can stay. Let's put a new... I've got a marshal here. I just I don't have a general here yet. Okay, so again, deploy them there. Then I'm going to assign a general. Let's take this one here. He's a ranger, which basically gives him extra movement. He's got a field citation, etc. etc. Perfect. We got insufficient steel now again. Oh gosh. We just reduced the numbers and all of a sudden they are needing more of it. Okay. Yep. 
As long as they're not just standing there, then that's great. They keep on trying to defend here. So am I getting a resource in through there as well now? No, it's still that one that we're leveraging here. There's of course a railroad running between the two. Let's have a look at our Air Force once again. English Channel. Let's switch to Southern English. English Channel. Southern England. Perfect. These are already fighting over Southern England. This one, yes, is still doing the English Channel, but that's fine. We need something in the English Channel. Okay, let's keep these troops moving here. Right. Let's push the Liverpool there. Yes, the Germans are helping me. Right, let's take at least one of these here. Let's move it there. Okay, should be doable. Alright. So how are we doing out at sea? So we got a substantial new set of Submarines operating here. Let's set them to do the convoy rating as well. Perfect. Air Force. Have I got any surpluses of anything at all? So I got a surplus of equipment. I got a surplus of light tanks, which is great. Uh, evade the blockade with Portuguese convoys. Hold on, what is this? The Portuguese government has offered to evade the British naval blockade and transport supplies for our troops. Okay. We at least 50 trade convoy ships, a pain of uh, at least minus nine, okay. Effect when selected, Portugal gains base war support, they remove convoys and they add one off map. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, I guess. Let's basically do this as well. We basically want to get our war support up further. our hands on some airports here already. Right. Okay. Pushing into London as you can see. At least southern London here. There. Why are we leaving here? I'm not quite sure. Okay. Cardiff is right there, and again, Cardiff seems to have a port as well. So it is now getting to be a matter of getting these troops across the channel. Which means I should now be setting this 
not supposed to be here, but over there. The ladder. Let's set these guys purely to focus upon that front there. Yes, they're starting to cross. Perfect. I'm leveraging the strengths of different units for that purpose. They've got some kind of defense in place. Intel advantage. Oh yeah, of course we do have the intel bit that we can actually leverage here. No, we don't. Oh, okay. I thought we did. Apparently not. Not anymore, at least. Alright, let's uh, not push there into that. Let's leave that out for now. Okay. This one's going to push into there. This one's going to push into there and then into there. Keeping this all active here. Did they abandon that section here? It looks like. They're now concentrating over in Dover. Interesting. That. Let's push this one into Liverpool here. Okay. Ah, look at that. The Germans are coming in, the Bulgarians are coming in. Yes, we're getting supporting troops to come in. Let's uh, put more decryption stuff into place. Insufficient steel, really. What about producing all of a sudden that I need extra steel? I don't, I don't know. I must have shifted something in terms of my productions, otherwise that wouldn't be the case. But Okay. Nottingham here. Manchester. Of course, there's a tiny chunk of uh, the United Kingdom up here as well. Not sure if that's going to have any impact, but uh, it looks like we're basically slowly taking the United Kingdom. Huh. All right, this guy is here. They're still moving troops over. They're not all as fast as we'd like them to be, but okay, that's fine for now. That's getting unfortunate. Lots of micromanagement I'm having to do here. Should be okay in reality. Let's take our launch facilities. Let's focus upon the Scotland. Yeah, Scotland. All right, so there's nothing there at the moment. They're all being used. Hmm, interesting. I thought it would actually be up to see the CD circles from which they would be uh, launching. Right, 
Photo recon. Well, I kind of selected that because I just didn't know what to do with my research points anymore. Because once you reach that the highest level, it's like, yeah, what next? It's like in here. Yes, I can of course work on this, but what's what's the purpose? Uh, war bonds. Okay. This is my actual consumer goods. Oh, okay, fine. We're down to 4% now with the war bonds selected. Interesting. That's for six months that we basically do that, which is, is perfectly fine as far as I can see. 91%. Sweet. Now we could, of course, select airplanes from here. I'm going to say yes, you can actually easily operate from right over there as such. So instead of having to do that entire flight to England, let's just operate from the territory itself. Why not? It just makes it, the flights so much more efficient. And look at this. So we got 700 planes here. They've got 800 planes. But look at what kind of planes they're running. They're running these old World War One planes almost. Plus, of course, we still are doing the ground attacks with our missiles. Okay. Let's try to push him out of here. The West Midlands and or East Midlands or West Midlands? It says Portsmouth. Oh, yeah, fine. Okay, these guys here are working on pushing these guys back here as well. Okay, let's help them with that. Again, if I can push more into there, so much the better. And as you will see, this gets to be stronger and stronger. Swansea is slowly being taken as well. So we got our troops here now. So let's change the tactics for these guys. Yes, we're happy for us to do that. And then, of course, we're going to give you orders to push through there. And let's execute them as well. What that should consequently actually do is it should move all of those guys over across the channel. Yes, these guys are going to form the border there. We're going to take all of our troops and assign them to that border. Well, there's two, but all 17. Let's look at our supplies, how they are running now. So as you can see, we basically got the trucks pushing the splice through nicely here. The only thing is from Portsmouth down here, we don't necessarily have clear lines of supply running from there. That is a little bit of a pity, but okay. Okay, let's have a quick look, see here. Quite cut off over here. Do I hear trucks beeping their horns and such? Or? Hmm, I'm not quite sure, but okay. So, what's our supplies like now? It's still going into here. Oh, we do have a railroad there. I'm pretty sure that that railroad is substantially damaged. 
let's make sure we reinforce that. So we're working closely towards our second bomb and it will be ready in 47 days. Great. What have the British been doing here? Golly, look at this. But look at these railroads. They're still level one. Why you got level one railroads running here? You should at the very, very least be level two. How are you going to supply everybody with the relevant resources now? Okay. The German troops are streaming in here as well, as you can see. attack from multiple angles here. Uh, okay, are we being bombarded or is it them that's being bombarded? I'm not quite sure. Okay, well, the guys that we got here, let's uh, take these back. Because in reality, it doesn't make sense what we're doing here otherwise. Guys and girls, etc. etc. So that line is pretty stable, except for that we basically lost this province here. Maybe because I'm focusing too much on some of the other territories here. Combat efficiency. Lovely. No commendations. No commendations. Why am I not getting any commendations with these guys? Interesting. Alright, so we do of course have this unit here, which has tanks in there. But no... No commendations either. Interesting. Do these guys have commendations? They must have done something at some point in time. There we go. Yeah, he's already got some commendations for organization. If I give him more, I probably want to do this for division attack. Look at that. I can basically cover him in the commendations. But at one point it's not really efficient anymore to basically keep on doing that because you, you kind of lose some of the efficiency in terms of yeah, being able to allocate all of the points correctly. So this guy's got three. This guy's got none. None, okay. How lovely. There we go, 30. I don't mind giving you a medal. Well deserved, guys. Very much well deserved. Right, let's modify these lines here slightly such that they're really concentrating on there. What I'm hearing is all the propellers, is that it? And then even German, what is it? Is that BF 109s? Wow. That's a little bit of a surprise if that's the case. Okay. 
Okay. So these are the Italian units from the colonial era. So colonial Italian units. And of course, there's nothing here. I forgot to put their defenses in there. All right, all this naval work is uh, quite nice. Getting us somewhere. Okay. These guys are really, yeah, in a bit of a pickle there. They're stuck. There's nowhere else for them to go, it looks like. What else could we do here? We've got another ace pilot that we can promote. Great. Yes, we've got a deficit of medium tanks. I we didn't to speak to the Germans to get that license for the medium tanks going again. Tanks. What medium tanks should we get? Panzer 3, Panzer 4, Panzer 4A, Panzer 4A. Why do they call them A as well then? Then we got the Leopard here, Advanced Light Tank, Advanced Medium Tank. Do they have not? Advanced Medium. There we go, the Panther. The Panther, that's nice. Whoa. Yeah, well, let's work on that one. Okay, so I'm going to allocate a bunch of my factories to the production of the medium tanks, this one. And let's move that all the way to the top. Boom. Uh, sorry. There we go. So I need additional support equipment, as you can see. I can increase that number there. This will, of course, need to be increased. What am I currently doing? I've got quite a lot of space here that I need to basically repair. I need to basically work on that railroad here. Okay, and yes, I'd like to get some extra factories into the play. So what factories did I? Yes, perfect. So what's happening to our, as you can see, these numbers of compliance, are they growing? 35% down here, 22. Takes some effort, I know, but we will get there. If you look at Corellia here, for example, Corellia is already at 56. Yeah, so it, it, it just it needs a bit of time. It just needs that little bit of time, or a little bit, substantial amount of time. Previous Look at, look at what's happening here. So that's their capital. They're, they're absolutely surrounded on most sides here. All right, that's all going to the north. Yes, you can basically move your units there. Okay, let's try to coordinate this. Well, they're low on supplies, as you can see, so that should hinder them. Because that would be my thinking. Push. Alright, we're going to use those units and push further into there. Turn one. Okay, fine. 
Right, you're pushing there. I'll push back. Thank you very much. You're pushing here. I'll push back. You're pushing me there. I will very much push back. Let's push into Manchester and as well as Liverpool there. Southern England is not as big an issue anymore. I probably want to basically shift to a slightly further northern. Oh, look at that. Basically, I'm producing so many submarines. At least I got so much facilities available that I'm basically just running out of submarines to produce. So I got five lines producing submarines simultaneously. And it takes, it looks like less than a month to produce a new submarine. Okay, so let's have a look at our air force once again so these guys are flying to there to operate in this region here let's bring them to the front these guys are here and they're of course operating to that same region doing exactly the same thing we can of course easily do that from a different location uh, that's a bit of a long stretch to get there, isn't it? So let's do that from really up close. Okay. Straight into Leeds as well. Okay, so fully engaged on the front here now. Oh, we took London. Golly. Imagine that. <laughs> All right. Straight from London into wherever this is. Look at that, all these engagements are still ongoing here. we can push them here. Cockermouth. <laughs> Douglas. Yep. The Labrador Sea. So Cornwall is still a little bit that's holding out here. Wales is entirely ours already. Southern England is for the most part is ours already. I just need to keep on pushing here. Push, 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 push. The age of adage. Look at this. Submarines of the Germans, the Vars, they're all basically firing at all of these ships that are basically located here. Now, I don't see necessarily that they've sunk or anything. Okay, 
Okay. Dumfries. So yeah, we're pushing these British and Americans pretty much out of this uh, land here now. That's Poland. Why are they not willing to give us anything? You'd imagine they'd be happy. Take over spy master. Can we improve the relationships with them? Yeah, of course we can. But do we need to really? Our stability is not bad. I would say it's pretty good, our stability. What's the consequence? That's only basic give us. Okay, never mind. All right, so. Again, we got shortages of robbers in this instance. Okay, Liberia, we basically are getting three from. What kind of number is three? That really is an absolute waste. Again, we got a surplus here. It's like up and down, up and down with these numbers. It's like, wow, guys, really? Okay, that's better. Okay. Castle in this instance as well. The more we can isolate these units, the better. Amount of material that we got flying through here. A number of troops based here in the United Kingdom. Alright, let's do this little circuit to basically get Newcastle and such in our hands. Let's, is Glasgow now the capital of the United Kingdom? Uh, okay, it could be. It is, after all, the United Kingdom. It's not just any place, it's the United Kingdom. Yes, they're still getting support from their navy, interestingly enough. Really interesting. I don't know how they manage that, but okay. Okay. This really becomes a bit of a slugfest here. Troops here, yes, we do. Let's uh, allocate these to that front as well and then make them push from there straight into the north all the way to Scapa Flow. Those troops are about to board their ships as well. Look at the number of troops we got here on the border. As you can see, they're still fighting, of course, in Africa. But there's not that much fighting left to do in Africa. It's uh, it's really a push into the United Kingdom, but it's uh, the current biggest amount of effort that's taken place. 
As you can see in here, we're able to recruit people from there. So non-core manpower, why is that negative? Recruitable population factor. Non-core manpower. Why is that negative? Oh well, whatever. This one is not available yet, and we're not. There's there's only two green ticks at the top. Yes, we're fascist, and basically we're fully independent, but we just don't have the actual sixty percent compliance here as of yet. So that's fifty-seven. It's getting closer. It is most definitely getting closer. It just takes time and effort. Forty-seven percent. Yeah. Let's have a quick look here. That number is, yeah, okay, it's reasonable. It is reasonable. If I basically were to move this guy over from there to here, let's see what kind of impact that will have. Go back to our fighting here. Let's just uh, eliminate this guy. Eliminate, because in reality, there I don't think there, there are no dockyards there. There's nothing there. So it's really these guys should surrender. And again, it does say that we're basically being bombarded. I just don't see it happening in reality. Oh yes, we need steel again. It's like back and forth, back and forth. Guys, make up your minds. Okay. Oh, that's smart. That's really smart. Okay, so let's choose this here as being the one that we want to basically go for. And I'm going to assign all the divisions to there. All six, and we're going to push back into there and make it active. There we go. Advanced fire control. Was there a reason for me to get that? Not really. So, yes, we could, of course, research tanks. We can basically research engines, etc., etc. Here, 46. We are already in 1946. Why did I not do anything with that? I don't know. Did it cross my mind? No, I guess I forgot about it as well. So, 82. Look at that. Are they all going to escape? Are, no way! <laughs> Again, I need to basically allocate a full set to here because of course we're taking over all these British sections here. United Kingdom has capitulated. Deutsche Reich declares war on the Netherlands. Really? 50% of the stockpile. There's hardly anything in that stockpile. Floating harbor, some sterling. So they mark ones. And of course, some other stuff that I've got no clue what to do with. United Kingdom has capitulated. Thank you. What is this? I thought you said you capitulated. Did you not capitulate? Yes, you did. So why do I still see United Kingdom there then? Ethiopia? Really? Yeah, they're, they're, they're the leader of the African Union. For sure. Alright, so we got South Africa here. We got New Zealand here. We got Canada here. And really, Canada is one of the closest. So what happened here to the United Kingdom? They suffered almost a million in terms of losses to us. To us. Now we did lose 1 point, uh, 131,000 to them, uh, okay, it happens, but yes, it was not the worst in that sense. Okay, so who else is within the faction that I could speak to? 
I ask someone for garrison support? Nope. Nope. Mr. Germany? Nope. Mr. Portugal? Nope. I was hoping to be able to get some support on the garrisons, but no. It is not to be. Alright, so let's have a look at what we got in Europe. So we still have Germany here with also surplus of chromium. So Germany has made this now into the Reichskommissariat Belgium, Reichskommissariat Nederlanden, and then have they got the other ones here as well? Yeah, we've got a greater Hungary here. I don't see the other Reichskommissariats, which they have got the option of basically creating. But yeah, okay, maybe not. Maybe just a new. It's good. It's all good. So these guys, they... That is still the United Kingdom, isn't it? Okay, so these guys are defending there. Let's reorganize. So this guy, set of people here will fully defend this territory. Perfect. So that's your job. Okay, so these guys here, they're defending. These guys are defending. These guys are defending as well. These guys are defending. These guys are offensive at the moment so let's move them there these guys are currently offensive as well so let's double check what we got here offensive yep so what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys i was going to say but in reality i want to basically get my marines back my marines are currently based there So these guys, I want to make defensive, but I want to basically make them defensive of this territory here. So what that should mean is... These guys are coming part of that. These guys, I'm going to basically send them back. Where are we going? Oh, okay. We can, of course, do an invasion here if I wanted to. From there into there, yeah, why not? Now, of course, I've got a lot of territory here that needs some repair work. I will also want to build more missile locations here. Can I? Are any of them actually built such that I can still build anything there? All of these are ex currently exceeding their limits. Lovely. So what I will need to do here, firstly, of course, need to improve the infrastructure. But to be honest, I don't think that will do the trick. We'll just have to wait and see how far we can get this. So let's have a look at the land itself. That's the water. Okay, so we do, as you can see, have a missile silo based here. Or so it says, a rocket site. So these rockets are currently, of course, flying there. Now we're gonna, no, why do we intercept? We're basically going to, of course, take the air superiority here. These guys, I don't need to aim out there anymore. Clear the orders, hold them. Same with these guys, hold them. These guys, hold them. Because I'm not going to bomb my own territory in reality, is it? That makes so little sense to do. Right, so, ah, there we go, yes. Let's take these as well and let's 
hold them as well and cancel that. Could I fly them somewhere else? Yeah, they're actually there. That is within the range, isn't it? Let's go for the west coast here. I can fire them over here. East coast. I said west coast, didn't I? I should have said east coast. They're called intercontinental ballistic missiles, I believe, anyway, so... Yeah, why not? These guys... I can hit, of course, Quebec with them. Even New England here. Close air support units. Did I... Sorry, I haven't been using these for ages. Portugal declares war on Spain. That's fine. So can I help them? Probably. Okay, defensive. Offensive. Great. Hold on. These guys are the ones I said to do the border stairs. So these guys, in actual fact, I'm going to put them on the border there. Resistance to occupation, yes, fine, whatever. No nations are there to be called to war anymore. So, the conquest of the United Kingdom. They cancelled their land lease, really? Well, let's do this differently. Let's put those guys on that border there. So these guys are already moving, as you can see, to Portugal. These guys here, I'm going to basically move them to the border here as well. And then from there, we're going to push into Spain, into Madrid and so forth. Executing those orders. These guys are also going to get offensive orders. Take that section here and execute. Why did Portugal decide to declare war? To be honest, that makes so, so little sense. Alright, guys, if you are going to be attacking, I can as well. Basically aim this at not New England. Uh, okay. Maybe we can do New England, yeah. That's fine. This here is going to be focused upon strategically bombing Spain. In the meantime, I'm going to take my fighters and I'm going to position them here. I'm basically going to say, focus on that. Fighters from here, focus on that territory as well. These fighters are going to be stationed there and they're going to be operating there. And more fighters are not staying necessarily in England, they're gonna go over to here. Again, not operating on Southern England, we're gonna again operate here. Fine, these guys we're gonna keep. These guys, I no longer need them there. Let's operate over the Portuguese territories there. Yes, yeah, she can join in.
To be honest, I greatly suspect that uh, they had decided to join the war. Okay, these guys. I really ought to get them on the border as well. With the push Okay. Well, this is no longer a no-go territory. We basically can, of course, expand our order set to also do that over there. This is no longer a no-go area. Again, we can include this in here as well. I, I meant to say we can, of course, include this into our set of areas to patrol. Sorry, I was meant to basically take these and allocate them to here. And then they should, of course, also start doing the convoy rating. Looking at the full set that we got here, those are being repaired in VAR. They are engaged in combat, but let's expand that one to have more units in there. Repaired in Algeria, okay. Suicide pills, fine, whatever. Psychological warfare. Guys, I think that we will shortly call it a day because it's reached the hour mark already. We're beyond that hour mark already, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Let's just keep our options open here. Right, if we look at my marines. Recon units, they give me... Okay, not much extra. Okay. Again, we got too much of this. And too little of that. Portugal used to be our provider. They can no longer be our provider. Now, it could of course be Germany being our provider. Yeah, we got a slight surplus, but that's fine. That is perfectly fine. As you can see, I misspelled Marines, but okay, that's fine for now. Let's get these guys ready to execute whenever we're ready. National Spain joins the African Union. Wow. Right, which territories am I going to remove from the section here? I don't think anything in reality. No way. I've got dockyards aplenty once again. Huh. All right, whatever. Let's focus on what we can do here. number of troops they stationed along that northern border that's wow phenomenal
so many different parts of Iberia are basically being uh, dealt with at this point in time. Is that fair to say? Yeah, probably. So the Axis at the moment is got a good, good chunk here. So we basically took the United Kingdom here in today's episode. So the United Kingdom is all ours now. So yeah, cool. Well, I'm saying the whole United Kingdom, Northern Ireland is still so-called free. But other than that, it's uh, all hunky-dory. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.